Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to a brand new video which is a home bargains and a B&M haul. So I hope that you're all well, I hope that you've had a great weekend. It's Sunday today and I'm just chilling um, at the minute. I do have a long list of things to do, so hubby is currently making the dinner, um, which is a great help, but I've got all of the kids' uniforms to find. Um, I did wash everything, sort of when they broke up before Christmas. Yeah, I need to find it all, iron it all, get prepared for tomorrow. <sighs> Again, I've left everything till the last minute, but yeah, the kids are back to school tomorrow. So that is on my list to do. But yeah, I thought I would just share today's haul with you. So, um, <laughs> Some of these items have actually been opened and used because that's another thing in my house. I buy items and think, right, I, I like not open them until I've done the video and then I turn around and the kids have opened stuff and you know how it is. Um, but it's just real life, isn't it? So yeah, I will still show you the couple of bits that are opened. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so I think I'll start with home bargains. Um, and the first item I wanted to share is toilet roll. Um, not very exciting, but I really like this stuff. So it's by the brand Nikki, and that's the packaging. So it's got the little bunny rabbit on. You get 12 uh, rolls in a pack. And it's just really nice stuff. You know, sometimes when you buy um, a cheaper brand, it's not very soft and you can just tell it's cheaper. But this is like a quilted wool and they're actually really soft and really, really decent. And they are something like, I'm sure they were £4.49, which I thought was a really good price for 12 rolls. Um, yeah, because if you go to the supermarkets, They've just rocketed the price of the toilet rolls. So yeah, I, I cause I used to get the um, Asda's Shadas range, but yeah, they're just too expensive. So I've started getting them from Home Bargains and they're really, really decent. Okay, so next I picked up some face cloths. So these are a pack of four and these were under a pound. Pretty sure there was something like 75 pence. And my um, dad, is in need of some more so i just thought i'd pick them up and then the next time i visit him i'll give him them so yeah just picked up those i also picked up some little a little pack of um toilet wipes um these are by power action and you get 40 wipes in here these were 59 pence and i just thought that i would pick them up for quickness um Maybe, you know, to obviously wipe the toilet round in between when I do like the bigger clean. So yeah, got those. And these are in like a lemon scent. So yeah, got those. I then picked up one of these eraser ways. Now, I hadn't heard of these, um, but my sister's used them and she says that they're absolutely brilliant. And again, these were really, really reasonable. Um, it was under a pound. I want to say again, it was like around, I think was it around 80, 89 pence, something like that. But yeah, so it says no chemicals, no fumes, no mess. Um, and you just add water to these. And I'm looking forward to trying this because like I say, I've heard really, really good things about it. So yeah. I'll let you know in the next video how I get on with that. Okay, I then picked up um, a stitch ripper with a safety ball. So and this just, just unpicks, um, well, the reason I got this is actually to unpick my son's trousers. So um, yeah, he just seems to have grown so much and there's like a hem on the bottom of his school trousers and I thought I would unpick it um, just to make it, make them last a little bit longer really um by dropping the hem so yeah i picked that up and that was only 59 pence which i thought was great i then picked up two trays these are um just bacon trays as you can see and i'm pretty sure these were around 129 each which i just thought was so good 
Um, these are non-stick. Eventually, they do lose that kind of coating. Um, yeah, but that's why I just like to buy them cheaply because they don't last that long. Um, but after Christmas, I threw away my other ones, so I needed to get some. So yeah, these are non-stick coating. They're also dishwasher safe, which is good. And these are just the 32 centimeter bacon trays. So like I say, I got two. Um, to be honest, we haven't been using the oven very much. We got an air fryer um, a couple of months ago and oh, it's absolutely amazing. I love it so much and it really does. Well, it's meant to be um, much more like affordable to run. So yeah, I picked these up just in case. But like I say, I haven't really been using the oven that much. And then I picked up some Febreze fabric refresh so I had just ran out of this stuff so I thought I would get another one um and I love this I use this to spray on my bed on the um, sofas all that kind of thing curtains so yeah this was I think two pound got some fairy washing up liquid this is the pomegranate and grapefruit and this was a pound and then I picked up two pairs of gloves. Um, so the first pair is, oh, these feel so nice. They're like, um, like a Lycra, is it a Lycra I'm thinking of? You know, when you see cyclists or runners and they've got like proper sports, um, sports clothes, clothing on. It's like that kind of um, material. They're quite padded as well. So... They've also got like grips on the inside and these were in the men's section but I mean I would definitely wear these. So let's have a look. If I just pop one on to show you. They were in the men's section but I don't think, I mean I, I haven't got huge hands but as you can see they fit me nicely. So yeah, um... I picked those up just because um, I'm quite funny with gloves. You know, if I get like woolly gloves or anything like that, when I touch my fingers together, ooh, it goes through us. So I thought I would pick these up mainly for like when I'm driving or in the morning when I get in the car. Oh, it is just being so icy. But I also thought, you know, if I go for walks, I can put these on. And then I picked up a pair for my mum. Um, when I seen these, I thought that they were so good. By the way, I think those gloves were literally like two fifty or something for the ones I've just shown you. And then I picked up another pair as well. I got these for my mum. I know she like these, and these are like a fake um, suede. How nice are they? It's got this little buckle around here. It's got the fur on the top, and again, they're by the Jeff Banks range and the, these were only three pounds which i just thought was such a bargain again if i just pop my hand in to show you these ones are a little bit more snug oh, but i just thought three pound you know and these are i suppose are a little bit more dressy aren't they so yeah I, when i seen them i just thought oh i'm sure she needs a new pair so i picked those up for her and then the last couple of items that I got from Home Bargains are actually, um, again, you know, I've taken them out of the packaging, but I will insert um, a couple of pictures. So these are um, the Christmas storage bags. I tried to get my hands on these last year and couldn't get them. So I ended up storing everything away in boxes, which um, was a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. My Christmas tree is so big. It's like seven foot um, high. It's really, really wide and bushy. And it's all kind of colour coordinated. All of the branches come off. You have to slot each branch um, like individually in to like the, the frame, I suppose. And um, yeah, I put, I used two boxes last year to put the tree in and it still wouldn't fit. Um, that's how big it is. And I thought, do you know what? I just want like one big bag to um, put it all in rather than, you know, it being all in different boxes and different. So yeah, I couldn't get my hands on these last year. I'm waffling on, aren't I? All of that just to tell you that I've picked up some Christmas storage <laughs> bags anyways. 
do you know what you've probably got your decorations away um my decorations are all in these bags but they're still in the conservatory i'm waiting for hubby to put them back in the loft but i thought i would show you them anyway because they are still available in home bargains and you know if you um are using boxes or black bags and you want to get your hands on these then you could still pick them up and obviously just keep them until next year so the first one is the um it's a small wreath storage bag and um yeah this was 199 it says it fits up to a 15 inch wreath so that is the first one i then got a storage bag um this one again was 199 so that is it there and this one actually comes like i say i'll get the um i'll go downstairs in a bit and then i'll insert some footage of um how they're looking with all of my items in this one's quite canny um it's actually got some sort of like dividers that you can put in between this so i've put my baubles in this but like i say i'll show you better in a minute and then the last one is the medium tree storage bag this is absolutely huge um like I say, my tree is massive and I've put my tree in and I also put my garland in as well, that fit, and I've still got loads of room. I could have put another tree in there. So yeah, this was 4 49 and it just says it fits up to a 7.5 foot tree. And um, yeah, these are great for £4.49. So yeah. Okay, so moving on to B&M now. I'll share everything that I picked up from there. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is um, this PlayStation. It's a storage tower. Now, I was a little bit annoyed because, um, as you can see, it's got £4 on there. So this was originally £15. So when I seen it, obviously, for £4, I thought, wow, what a bargain. Um, and it wasn't until I came home and actually checked my receipt and I've been charged £8 for it. So it must have been um, reduced to eight and then it's been reduced again, but they haven't um, like changed it. So yeah, it actually came through with eight pound, which is annoying. But yeah, never, nevertheless, it is still a bargain. So this is just like I say, a storage tower and my son wanted one of these to put his um, games in for his PlayStation. So that is how that looks on the back um it obviously just tells you how to assemble it if you bought a couple of these you can actually like put them on top of each other so yeah i got that for him okay so next i picked up some of this um stain remover i've never tried this before i'm currently using the pink stuff non-bio um liquid detergent for washing my clothes and that's amazing stuff so i thought i would pick this up um yeah so this is an oxy powder stain remover it's quite a big tub as well and this was only 2.99 so it is a 1.2 kilograms and it says that it's for brighter whites tough on stains gentle on fabrics so yeah i thought i would try this because um yeah quite a lot of quite a lot of our white towels and bedding have got like makeup stains and things on so i thought i would give this a try I then got some um, cup of soups. These are cream of vegetable with the croutons. I absolutely love these. These are a great like little snack for me when I'm at work. Um, I know I, because I don't eat breakfast and I know that I should. I know that people say breakfast is the best kind of start to the day, but I just kind of eat breakfast. I never have been able to. So normally around 10 o'clock, that's when I get hungry and want a snack at work. So yeah, I just thought I would pick these up i just love cup of soups especially in this weather so i got those um i then picked up some um oat burst instant porridges and this is the golden syrup flavored so um i mean i've only bought three up to show you um but i did end up getting six of these and these are only 39 pence each which i think is amazing so again you know i was thinking these are going to be a good kind of snack um because i always get hungry around 10 o'clock so i thought i could take these to work and um yeah so this is the instant porridge like i say golden syrup flavored and it does say that they're low in flat low in flat 
low in fat <laughs> and it says you just add boiling water ready in a minute i've actually had these before um but i think then there, there must be like a different make um i want to say that the, that the were the quick quick at oats ones i'm not quite sure but yeah so i picked up six of these i then picked up one of these mayflower chinese style medium curry sauce mix this looks really really nice and this was only a pound and i just thought i would pick it up because sometimes um like on a sunday evening um i i make like homemade chips is just like a little snack you know when you've had like a roast dinner through the day and on an evening like you might just feel a little bit hungry and just want a little snack so um yeah i just thought this might be nice to have over some chips i then got um some angel delight so i picked up two packets of the angel delight this one is butterscotch flavour and strawberry. I think these were like something like 70 pence each. So I um, got those for my son. And then I picked up some pasta. So um, I always pick these up when I'm in B&M and Home Bargains. I picked up two of the pasta and sauces. And I'm pretty sure these were 75 pence each. I got the mac and cheese and the cheese and broccoli. And again, you just add water to these. And I picked these up for my daughter um, because when she gets home from school, um, she's always hungry. And I'm not, she finishes school at half two. So she's like in the house for like three o'clock. And we don't have what to eat till like close to 6 p.m. and um, by the time like me and Andrew get in from work and make the tea so these are like a good little snack um, for her and then I also picked up four packets of the pasta and sauces but these ones you have to add water milk and butter and pop these in the, the pan or in the microwave you can do that so I got the mac and cheese I got the um, creamy chicken flavoured. This one's a new flavour. I haven't seen this one. And this one is caramelised onion and smoky bacon. And then roast chicken and bacon. So these ones were 75 pence again. And this one was 89 um, for the new one. This one is a chef special, it says. So yeah, I got lots of pastas for snacks. Um, and then last couple of items, picked up some um, Dove soap, got two in a pack, um, like I say, I've opened one of them and we're currently using it. I always pick these up again when I'm in there because they're so affordable. I also got some um, Refuge sacks. These are the extra large 70 litre bin liners, a pound. I picked up some of this flash um sparkling kitchen spray and this is a new one um i haven't seen this and this is the crisp lemon so yeah i love anything that smells of lemon so i thought i would pick this up and this was two pound 49 um yeah so looking forward to trying that one i also picked up this um refillable candle lighter and I just thought that that was um, kind of nice looking, to be honest. And I'm sick of using matches, so got this. This was only £1.50, so picked that up. I then picked up some bowls. Um, I actually picked up four of these, but um, there's one in the dishwasher. So, um, yeah, these are pasta bowls. And as you can see, they are quite big. I've actually been after pasta bowls for a while so yeah we eat a lot of pasta dishes in our house and I just thought um I would pick some up so yeah like I say I got four and these are £2.50 each and as you can see they're like a um they've got like little speckles on there and I like them because they don't look you know like like there's little there's little marks on them um like it's got a bit of texture to it and they just like look like um they haven't been made i don't even know what i'm trying to say you know what i mean like they're not perfect looking but i like that 
Um, so these are by Natural Home. And like I say, these were £2.50. They're a really, really good size. So yeah, I picked up um, four of these. And then the last item that I got from B&M is a mop and bucket. Now, I've had mops and buckets in the past. And um, I wasn't a huge fan, to be honest. Um, and then I got one of those spray mops, you know, the ones that you put your detergent in. But what I find with those, um, if you don't clean your floor daily, which I don't, I normally, um, you know, it's normally once a week, um, don't judge, it's normally once a week that I give it like a really good clean. And um, I find that the spray mops are good, you know, if you were cleaning it daily, there's just like, maybe you've, you know, you've cooked your tea and you've spilt a little... Um, bit of sauce on the floor whatever it's good for just quickly you know mopping that up and what I tend to use mine for as well um when the pads dry I like to use it is um instead of like a brush and shovel so I'll just quickly you know go around and get all of the excess um like muck and grime and all that you know into a um pile and then I'll brush it up but yeah I don't know why but if I leave my floor for more than a few days, you know, like like I say, if I spill something and I forget to, to wipe it up and I've left it for a few days, I always think that when I use the spray mop, it doesn't quite get the stains up, you know, or it's really hard and I'm, I'm trying to scrub it, you know, trying to scrub away. So, yeah, I decided to pick up a new um, mop and bucket. So I thought I'll still use my spray mop, but more um in between like a bigger clean so i picked up this um and this is by um a dis is it a dis is that how you is that how you say that a dis anyways this was 18 pound and it's one of those spin mops so um i thought i would get it so you do get your six litre capacity bucket with a carry handle and um, it's got 360 spin ring arrow rotation to effectively ring your mop head dry um it's got a pump action spin handle super absorbent microfiber head picks up dirt and dust effectively and um it, it says it's ideal for tiles laminate vinyl and this actually includes a replacement um head as well which is good because quite often i think people buy this you know like something like this and then they can't get their hands on the replacements so i thought this was canny for 18 pound and like i say i do get a replacement head in there as well so yeah that is everything that i picked up so if you made it to the end thanks so much for sticking with me and um, I hope that you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. And also hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free, but it would really help my channel to grow. And um, yeah, I'll be back in a few days time. I always say that, don't I? I'll be back in a few days time and then it ends up to be a week. But um, it just goes so quick, doesn't it, the days? Yeah, so I've got lots of content coming. I'm going to be doing some cleaning, motivational videos. I'm also going to be doing more clothes try-on hauls and charity shop hauls. So, yeah, um, if you'd like to see more from me, then make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you soon. So take care, everyone, and bye for now.